how to concatenate multiple files in a specific order using Ansible, this is extremely useful for service configuration file, reports and a lot more use cases. I personally use this code for markdown documents. I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about Ansible module template. The full name is ansible.builtin.template, which means that it's part of Ansible core and is included in all Ansible installation. It templates a file out to a target host. Templates are processed by the Jinja2 templating language. Also, you could use some special variable in your template. These are the full list, but I'm not using in this use case. It supports a large variety of operating systems. For basic text formatting, use the ansible.builtin.copy module or for empty file, ansible built-in file module. For Windows, use the ansible.windows win underscore template module instead. Parameters. Let me highlight the most useful parameter for template module. The only required parameter are src and dest. The src parameter specify the parameter file name, the template file name, pardon. Template usually are stored under templates directory with a J2 file extension. The dest parameter specify the path where to render the template to on the remote machine. The validate parameter allow you to specify the validation command to run before copying into place is very useful with configuration file for service. Please note that the special escape sequence percent s is going to be expanded by Ansible with the destination path. If the backup parameter is enabled, Ansible create a backup file including the timestamp before copying to destination. Let me also highlight that we could also specify the permission and see Linux properties. Demo time. Are you excited? I will show you how to concatenate multiple files in a specific order using Ansible module template and one YAML file. So, let's have fun! Welcome to my editor, let's begin our tour starting with include.yaml, yes is, this file sound familiar, is the same format as pandoc use, so basically input file is a list with uh, all the file name, I put on purpose the, PTX, the btxt before atxt, so this is not alphabetical order just to show you that you can do whatever you want. Let's begin our playbook with free dash as a YAML document and one play name. A, an appropriate name could be concatenate demo that is going to target hosts. I don't want to put all, so let me define the value of variable hosts and I will populate this variable with by command line. Uh, let me set become false because I would like to execute this as normal user, not as root, and gather facts uh, true because could be useful to have this uh, statistical information. Let me define uh, two variables. First is my input that obviously will be the input file, exactly the YAML file, in my case is under concatenate directory 
and includes dot yaml let me define also my output that will be under the same directory and with a lot of fantasy output dot txt you can customize uh, this value with uh, something significant with, for you so on the task list uh, let's start a rock and roll first of all let's include uh, the file list and uh, we are going to use the include underscore vars module specifically i'm going to use the file named uh, will be the value of my input here we go and i'm going to save the result under the name of files so under files uh, variable we will have the content of the file my input Mm, second task will be to actually concatenate the file and save the result uh, to the output file. I'm going to use ansible.builtin.template A source uh, template will be named uh, under template directory templates, uh, here we go concatenate.j2 because it's jinja2 template file and I'm going to save the result on destination that will be the value of my output and here we go in a few line of Ansible playbook I'm able to open a YAML file and save the output to my output is it done? Not completely, because uh, we need to actually concatenate the file. For this purpose, we need the Jinja2 language that is very powerful. And let me show you how to do. First of all, I need to uh, cycle to have a loop on all the, uh, the file in my file list. So for E in files, uh, input uh, dash files I s I'm saving under the files uh, namespace uh, because uh, Ansible has a problem with dash so it's more convenient to do like this uh, especially on the older version so for every file in the list basically means uh, we need to open the file so to perform in the open I'm going to use the lookup plugin file with file name e so basically i'm open every file on the list exactly in the order of the yaml file and printing out in the output that is exactly what we want we want to read file by file and concatenate each other so that's it as you can see we need only to perform a one loop is it is this magic yeah i think so and uh, done let me show you again the playbook is only 18 lines for reading one input file and concatenate the output you can scale up as much as you want and you can customize with as many files as you want in your input are you curious? Let's jump to the console to see the live demo execution. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, I would like to show you the content of my concatenate directory. This is an example directory where I stored A and B file as well as the include.yaml list. So let me show you the content of concatenate a.txt and there is uh, a content named a content and b like a b content as well also with a file list that is under my include yaml as you can see i on purpose put b.txt before a.txt so we can appreciate more the capability of ansible now let's execute our ansible playbook with ansible playbook 
command line utility, let me define the extra variable of hosts uh, to the current local host and last parameter is the playbook concatenate.yaml the execution is super fast as you can see we have one changed status which means that the output file was created what happened if we execute again with the same file nothing ansible recognized that nothing was changed so we have ok status and no more changes on file system this is called hidden potency as you can see inside the concatenate directory there is output.txt with the content in the same exact order as we expected b content and then a content so job done compliments ansible and uh, i can tell you that this is super fast also with a lot more file and a lot more content try in your own laboratory now you know how to concatenate multiple file in a specific order with ansible module template and yaml thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up write me a comment and in general keep in touch with me have a great day and see us on the next it adventure and let's automate more this video is part of our ansible automation program sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.